This is WENY News. Well, as always, thank you so much for clicking on our webcast. It is Monday, the 8th of September, 2014. I'm Austin Reed. I hope you had a great weekend as we start a brand new work week here. Now, the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Well, this morning we have new information in the case of a horrific crash that killed a seven year old boy from Troy. This tops a look at your local headlines from Monday. Officers say a pickup truck turning onto Porter Road in the town of Troy last week struck a man who was on his bicycle and was pulling a cart with his two kids inside. Troy police tell WNY News that the seven year old who died in the crash has been ID'd as Hayden Antonio Riggins. Police also say the little boy's sister, Skyler, was trapped and pulled under the truck in the accident. The kid's father, Marcel Riggins, and his daughter, Skyler, were both treated at a local hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. As for the driver in this case, authorities say, <coughs> excuse me, it is David Edwards of the Mansfield area. No word yet if he will face any charges in the accident. Troy police plan to release more details about this later today. This just into the WENY newsroom. Over the weekend, New York State Police arrested a Campbell man for allegedly having sex with a minor. Here's a bigger picture of this guy. Police say uh, he's 18-year-old Preston Wed of Campbell. He was charged with sexual misconduct and endangering the welfare of a child, both Class A misdemeanors. Investigators allege that Wed had sex with a female under the age of 18. The Star Gazette says the 18-year-old will answer to the charges on September 15th in the town of Campbell Court. Happening right now in the town of Endicott, the southern tier, uh, the southern tier chapter of the Red Cross that is, is on the scene of an apartment fire that broke out yesterday, displacing a number of residents. Here's a picture of that scene from yesterday morning, courtesy WBNG TV. Several fire companies reported to Hillside Court as a fire tore through the apartment complex, leaving eight units damaged. WBNG TV says all residents made it out okay. But a fire investigator was treated for carbon monoxide poisoning. He's expected to be okay. Now, investigators are also looking into something suspicious found inside the building after the fire. The Endicott Police Bomb Squad is handling that investigation. No cause just yet. After a tense few hours on the first day of the 2014-2015 school year for Ithaca High School students, today the kids will notice a little bit more police patrols than normal. That's because shortly after 9 o'clock Friday morning, police put the school on lockdown after an empty plastic packaging of a BB gun was found in the boys' bathroom. Students and faculty were on lockdown for over three hours while police searched the entire building. By around 12.30 p.m., an announcement came over the loudspeaker notifying everybody that, the, uh, that uh, no BB gun was found and that the school was reopening. Police will likely keep up the high patrols for the rest of this week. And as the 13th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks comes this week, there is comfort for the family of a New York firefighter who died that day. It comes in the form of this worn metal bracelet bearing the name of Michael Otten and the inscription FDNY Ladder 35 9 The firefighter was killed when the Twin Towers fell in New York City. His son wore this bracelet but lost it nearly a decade ago when he was just 11 years old. Well, about two weeks ago, a New York woman found it on the beach at a Long Island park and returned it. The 13 year anniversary of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks is Saturday. Time to take a look at your weather from our first warning weather center. Here's Craig Flint. Hey, Craig. Hey, Austin. Thanks a lot. That's a great story about the bracelet. And you know what? Great weather today, too. Temperatures uh, starting out a little cool this morning in the 40s, but we'll. Well, 45 to 52, but we'll end up 75 to 80. That's not bad. That's pretty normal. So milder by afternoon with a good deal of sunshine. So here's how we play Craig's choice. Well, what do you mean by that? If you had to ask me personally, I like cooler weather in the morning and warmer weather in the afternoon with sun. Well, <laughs> that's exactly what we've got today with temperatures close to average and but it's a definite difference here by late this week in that the temperatures will be dropping below average with a taste of autumn with some significantly cooler weather in the offing here by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So here we go with future track today. No problems. High pressure in charge. That means a lot of sunshine for you and me. And temperatures topping out 75 to 80. Overnight tonight, skies will be partly cloudy. Yeah, we have some little bit of, we'll have a little bit of fog to start off our Tuesday morning. And I think most of the day Tuesday dry. 
The breeze will pick up during the afternoon and late in the day, I can't rule out an isolated shower popping up, say like Bath, Hornell, up to Penyan, Hammonds Port, those areas. But I think largely most of the day Tuesday is going to be dry and temperatures pretty seasonable on Tuesday as well with highs in the 70s. Let's widen the shot out for you and show you that we are keeping an eye on some moisture down here to the south. This will never make it to us. That's because high pressure is in charge and extending all the way down the spine of the a uh, Appalachians. And uh, that will be with us throughout the day on Tuesday as well. The high will start to shift its way to uh, the east and northeast, though, coming up on Tuesday. And that will allow a cold front to swing on through here as we head into our Wednesday night and Thursday. So. It'll start out a little shaky Thursday with some scattered showers and thunder showers around, and then I think skies will become partly sunny as we head into the afternoon Thursday. So let's recap the forecast for you. 78 today, 76 Tuesday, breezy for the afternoon, isolated shower or storm late in the day Tuesday, north by west. Most are not going to see it. Most are going to be dry, seasonable, reasonable, 76. Sun fades Wednesday, showers and storms Wednesday night, so I think Wednesday during the day, dry. Wednesday night, showers and storms, and showers and storms through midday Thursday, becoming partly sunny, breezy, 76 Thursday, reverse those numbers for Friday, both the high end and the low end, so much cooler with clouds and sunshine. And for the weekend right now, Playing it optimistic, it's going to be much cooler though. A fallish twinge to the air for sure with temperatures in the 60s. Now, caveat Austin uh, for Saturday being that I might have to update that forecast to include some rain. We'll see, but for right now, we'll keep it dry, but much cooler. We'll focus on today for everybody that likes the sunshine. Nice sunshine, nice way to start a Monday. That's right. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us here on the web for the latest news, weather, and sports anytime. Go to WENY.com. Make sure you pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette as well. I'm Austin Reed from all of us here at WENY. Have a great start to this brand new work week.